Wow. Why are you not playing the music for everybody? Imagine. Why are you not playing the Like I said, if you want to dance, go and get yourself a phone. My phone. Oh, girl. Flora, yes? why are you talking to me like that? Can hey, you pass now? She's talking to me now. You pass see me too. Flora, be careful. Be careful, I'm warning you. I'm scared of you. I'm scared of you. Oh, girl. Go and get yourself a phone. Look. Star, you see anything? Flora. What? Laura, yes. Laura, yes. I'm still saying my own no be What is happening here? Will you stop? Muna, get back to your seat. What are you people doing inside while others are outside on break? Eh? Yeah? Muna, I believe you started this. Haven't I won against this? Huh? Haven't I? But Sash, she will- Shut up! Shut up! You think, you think here is a dance hall? Where you come and practice African Michael Jackson? Eh? And African Sonia Day? Opening yourself, woo wah pee bo Eh? Eh? Now come with me, come! Come here! Sir, it is- come. It is Laura! Will you shut up? I said shut up your mouth! Come here with me! Greetings, my queen. Yes, John. I humbly report the arrival of the Council of Elders. My queen. Okay. I'll join them shortly. Yes, my queen. You're all welcome, my dear council members. Thank you, Thank you my queen. Majesty. Thank you, my queen. Oh, but may I ask of the whereabouts of uh, Chief Patrick? Chief Kalu? Yes. It's not the duty of our queen to know the whereabouts of the Prime Minister. Thank you, Chief Gibson. Well, can we forge ahead with the meeting? Dad. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I'm back. I assume you're going for your council meeting. Uh, yes. Okay. I am the prime minister. I know. I know what pleases me. <laughs> After all, soon you'll be made the king. Since the ghost granddaughter of Queen Rebecca is yet to be seen. Yeah, but you know, I wish they can find her. Well, shut up, son. Do not wish her that. Don't you know you are the heir to the throne? The queen has fooled us long enough. Okay, fine. Then what if this missing granddaughter of hers is found? What will happen? Then let her present the, the princess before the council. Yes. I will see you when I come back. Ha girl, eh? I will beat her. I will make sure I beat her later today. I will flog that girl. You don't have to. She's a whack and you know it. They are all a bunch of jerks. Hey! Hi! You know I'm not good speaking in the public. But you are good in playing. Come on, your eye knows that you are good. Let's wait on the class is over. She? Okay now. Then let's look for somewhere nice to go and have fun. Hmm? Not Come now. Come on. You said you're supposed to go out for rather go inside and learn. It's not yet breakfast. Hey! 
That man, that Uncle Chris, that man hates me. Oh. I don't even know what I've done. What will I do? Just forget the husband. Okay, well, me, I'm not in my own, no. That girl, she will collect this today. I will make it. I will beat her. My friend, would mind graciously for the presentation of your granddaughter and supposed princess. That is, if she exists. <sighs> I honorably urge you all for patience. For how long? Our festival is fast approaching us, and we need to name and her or her as to the true of Obimoke. Yes. yes. Do you think there's still much time left, my queen? My fellow council members, if I am allowed to speak, yes. If in one of the gives the queen the privilege to do whatever she wants to do. And in this regard, Chief Ibuma, if there was a time for you to be more elaborate in your speech, that time is now. There's no need for sarcasm. My late son had a daughter before he died, and I'm aware of it. The mother of the child, that's the my granddaughter, the mother to my granddaughter, relocated recently. I'm sure I'll find her and I'll present to you, your princess, the heiress. Well, my fellow council members, let your patience be patient. Let's grant the queen we heard you, Prime Minister. You pick on me always. You mock me. Why? What have I done to you? Now it's my time. You have been on my neck. You think you are the only beautiful girl? Huh? Ah, you guys should stop. Mona, let's go. Just leave me alone. I don't want to fight any of you. Am I the only one from a poor background? Am I? Mona, it's okay. She was angry you won her, that's all. Really? Yes. I've warned you both. Stay away from me. without informing me. I mean, it's so absurd. Please be calm, my queen. Let's be positive. I am under pressure here. Can't you get it? I mean, if I cannot present her before the council or during the festival, then the royal leadership of this kingdom will be retracted and Williams will be made the heir apparent to the throne.
My princess, children, it's okay, it's okay. Stop playing with my princess. Eh? Can't you see she's just coming back from school? My princess, go home. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going already. But this is your I'm princess of a team. I don't understand, though. <laughs> Are you not my princess? You're my princess. But wait, though. Uncle Mike, hmm. why are you always calling me my princess, my princess, my princess, my princess, my princess? Why? Nothing, just my spirit directed me to call you my princess. That's why I'm calling you my princess. Okay, is it bad for me to call you my princess? I know so it's bad though. It's not a bad to know. Just that my mother is always calling me my princess. That's why. It's okay. Go home now. Hmm? Go home and rest. My princess. You see? Again, <laughs> my princess. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Yeah. My brother, you don't have to be acting like a chick. Yes. Do you know what you're talking about? To be a apparent to this room of people. This is what every every full-born, full-fledged human being, male of this kingdom, will accept with, with all dignity. Listen, Ken, I know that. But that will only happen if the queen does not provide that girl. Then let us pray she doesn't submit. Yes! See, my friend, I want you to be the king. You have to be brave and. You have, to, you, you have to be brave and strong. Yes! See, if you know all the efforts your uncle is making, every effort he's making for you to be king, you will sit up. Do you know? If your parents were to be alive, I made you the king. You know that. I agree with you. You're right. But you see, there's a tradition in this land. After the bull, after the death of King Jason, you know, Richard was supposed to be the king. Richard is no more. Meaning that any um, child of Richard is supposed to take over the throne. But if he does not have any child, it is left for either me or father. Right? Uh -huh. Good. But right now, the queen is saying that the princess is coming back. <laughs> let us let her show her face. I know I'm saying this, so you have to be strong. See, if I ever have my way, I will make sure that that girl disappears forever. Hey, hey, no, 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 yes. no, 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 please, don't even say that again. Ken, I am begging you. This is not my style. No, no, I don't want that. No, don't, don't, don't even think about it. No, 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 no. Please. Please. Let's just go. But just take, take that out of your mind. I've heard everything you said. Fine, but... <sighs> I'm talk, all right? I like, I, like, seriously, I, I want you to be the king. I know, I know. Great vision. For those people, they are always looking for my trouble, always insulting me, and I don't want to fight. Don't do it, okay? Do not fight with anybody. All you need to do is to read your books and make your grades, okay? a real life princess. So why are you always calling me my princess? Hey, did you tell Uncle Mike to call me princess too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, now go inside and get your shoe. 
Okay. My princess. <laughs> My princess. your mind in that, huh? Okay. I know. What I mean is, next time she demands for time, yes, let's deny her that. Good. Okay? Yeah. You know how much I value that throne for my nephew. If we get it, you stand to gain a lot. That's great. You know I'm always on your side. My dear Patrick. Ha! <laughs> Sit down. No, no! My queen can't sit on this plastic. 
Peter. It's okay. Hey, my queen. Hey, wait. <laughs> I love me. I love me. How are you? I'm fine, ma. And how's my granddaughter? Your daughter too? She just stepped up now, ma. You're welcome. Please, what can I offer you? Water, food, anything, my queen. Why did you relocate without informing me? I've been searching for both of you since. Please forgive me, my queen. Things were so bad for us, we couldn't survive it. We had to move. Remember you asked me to keep Mona's secret. It's okay. How did you find us, Ma? I can always find my way around things. Well, I'll have to wait until my granddaughter gets back. Okay, Ma. Let me find you. Oh, Helen, no. Calm down. Sit down. <laughs> I'm glad to see you. See you, Ma. <laughs> Hey, hey, where are you going? Stay here. You can't go in there. Ah. Go this way. Why? Who are you? And what are you doing here? My name is Peter, the Chief Security Officer to Queen Rebecca, the ruler of Obimo Kingdom. May I know you, please? <clears throat> well. Well, I am Muna. Muna Richards. Oh, my princess. My princess. You may go in at once. Princess. Yes. You, my princess. I greet you. <laughs> go in at once. <laughs> Princess Muna. <laughs> I know I, I did ask you to keep it a secret, but sometimes things happen. That's right. Oh, you, my goodness, this is my granddaughter. You're all grown up now. <laughs> Um, my princess, my love. Um, um, can, can we talk? Excuse me. Mom, there's no need. Just say what you want to say here. <clears throat> um, <sighs> look at me. <sighs> She's your grandmother. The mother of your late father. She's the ruler of Obimo Kingdom. I don't understand. She is my grandmother, the ruler of Obimo Kingdom. And who was my father? Your father was my late son, the heir to the throne of Obimo Kingdom. Wait, mommy. When I asked you if I'm a real life princess, you said no. Why did you lie to me? My princess, it's not what you think, okay? This is not the right time for all this. Yes, it's time. My dear, you are a true life princess. The throne of Obimo rests on your shoulders. Yes. And you must come and claim it. Yes, my love. No! You are not my grandma! And you can never be! Just... just leave! Hi! Muna! Oh. 
forgive me, my queen, please. The queen is doing all this because I don't have a child. Patrick, stop this. Even if you do have a child, you will not jump the line, okay? Yes. The tradition says that only when the dynasty of Jason ends shall another take over. Has it not ended? Richard died a long time ago. When will Rebecca stop fooling the entire kingdom? I don't think she'll stop doing that. Yes, because we all know the woman Richard impregnated. That King Jason refused him to marry. Then let the child show up. You people underrate the smartness of Queen Rebecca. I, I'm telling you, you underestimate that woman. She could go out there and borrow a child and present before the council. Then, that's when your smartness is needed. To make sure the child is Richard's. Yes. Hey, my queen, I'm sorry, please. Helen, give her. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I understand how she feels. Um, now, you go in, take care of her, take care of yourself, right? Okay, you, I'll be back. Thank you, ma. And your cars. Oh! Uh, there's a, a road cut over there, so we had to park on the other side of the road. That's a wrong road, ma. Let me show you the right one in case of next time. Okay. All right. Let's go. My queen, just before the road cuts, there is a, a turn by your right. Just follow it down to lead it to my house. Yes. Take care of yourself. Thank you, ma. Bye bye. What are those people doing there? Robin, I'm lost. Kuna, 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 just talk to me. I feel neglected and lonely. I am so happy. I mean, who could have been Come on, granddaughter. I told you, my queen, that I will find them. Yes, Ida. You've done well. Uh, you have done marvelously well. <laughs> My queen, so when is she coming back home? Oh, pretty soon. Sooner than expected. Now I can stay the council members both. I trusted you. I believed you. And now look, is this what I get? Listen, it's not what you think. I can explain. Explain what? What do you want to explain? You prefer lying to me than saying the truth? Is that it? You. I hate you. I hate you. I hate that woman. I hate this kingdom. I don't want to rule any kingdom. I hate all of you. Muna. 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 Muna, come back here. Muna, I said, come back here. Listen, my love. 
it's your bet right. You can't say no to it. If you say no, a lot of things will go wrong. Can't you understand? Muna. I'm sorry. I don't care. Muna! Muna! Come on, but you are here to tell me why you are feeling this bad about her. I've not seen you look this unhappy since I'm alive. Robin, you will not understand. But I feel so hot. Okay, you don't want to tell me. So, who are those people back there? They are appeared royal. I was the queen. The queen of the human kingdom. Okay, that's her, but what did that highly queen come to do with you and your mother? I hope she didn't come to pick you as one of her palace maidens. Never. If she did, she wouldn't have come. Okay. But she come into your house is an honor. Okay, Robin. Let me tell you. She actually came because... My princess! My princess! My princess! What is it? You don't look cheerful, I suppose. What is it? Look, Amanda. How did you find out? Ah, my princess. I don't believe you don't have television at home. Hmm? Or don't you watch news? You don't have to. Okay, you two are confusing me now. What is going on? My princess. May your days be long. You will rule us well. Fukumai. Your secrets will be safe with me. Okay, Muna. Why did Okumai just bow to you? And what secret is he talking about? Princess has been found. I want her to have her own chamber, so you will need to furnish it very well. Yes, my queen. <laughs> and to you, Peter, from now on, you'll be picking her up from her home to school until she comes to live here with us. Hmm? Okay, my queen. One more thing, John. I'll need you to employ two maids, especially for the princess. Yes, my queen. Um, the secretary to the state is waiting. Oh! That reminds me. I had an appointment with him. Well, tell him I'll be with him shortly. Hmm? Yes, my queen. Alright. I think that'll be all. your late father. I didn't know he was a prince, an heir to the throne.
Hello. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, yeah, good afternoon. My name is Richard. I am a researcher. I came to this village to do a research. Oh, you're welcome, sir. I'm Helen. I live in this village. That's good. Oh, I'm so happy to see a beautiful woman like you reading. <laughs> Thank you. But well, that is what I do for a living. Um, are you a student or something? Oh, yes, I'm a student. Oh, let me help you. No, sir. Thank you. I can do it. No, let me... no, no. I don't want you to enjoy yourself. Oh? <laughs> I'm fine. No, let me, let me help you. Let me this help you. is my work. Let me help you. Hey! No! <laughs> sir, please. Oh? <laughs> I don't want you to enjoy yourself. Yeah? No, I won't. I, I... Okay, don't worry. Hey! Oh. <laughs> yeah, my start. Sir, okay. Take this one. <laughs> oh, yes. Thank you. I'm not doing it. Uh, I don't have to do it. I'm doing it well. It's okay now. I'm, I'm... And I've never seen a student that is as strong as you are. Not all students will have the strength to win the farm the way you did today. <laughs> it's because my parents are very poor. I'm from a poor. They cannot even afford my school fees. So I have to, I have to do this mini job. So I'm so Same here. My parents are poor. <laughs> I'm a poor girl. Well, it is well. This car passed earlier, and now it's passing again. Because they have money to buy the big cars, they just need cash. They are all courtists. No. Don't say that, Richard. Not every big man is evil. Besides, you can see the plate number of that guy is covered. It could be somebody very important. Yes, you could be right. You could be right. Oh, but what makes you think not all true men are causes? Richard, I know people say that every rich person. I don't believe that. Do you know why? I know I am poor. A poor girl. But I know I must definitely make it in the future. And if someday I make it and buy myself a car like that, people will start saying she's evil. She has done something. Just like you are. Yes, you are a student now. In the future, you might make it. Um, you can as well get yourself a car like that. So it's not every rich person is evil. Mm. Oh. You're very intelligent and wise. How come you're in school? No. Nobody to sponsor my education. Nobody to help me. That is why I'm doing this my farm work. At least, I'm using it to assist my family and myself. Don't worry, I'm fine. I know you must be very thirsty. Follow me to my house. At least, I'll find you water. Oh? What? What? Please don't. You know I'm from a very poor home. Our house is very poor. I don't want you to insult me. <laughs> come on, come on, let's go. Stop it, let's go. What make you think your house is not better than my house? 
No, I know my house. Lawrence is not that good at all, but you manage it. He deserves a better cup than this thing. How can I serve him with this? Ooh. Be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you are. Give me the water with the cup, I'll drink it. How did you get here? Thank you very much for the water and your help. Thank you, Richard. I'm, I'm very sorry I couldn't offer you more. You know I'm a poor girl, please forgive me. No, stop apologizing for being real. See, you, I, I don't know what to say. I like you for that, being yourself. Not faking yourself, but just real. So listen, you inspired me. These are the kind of people I want to see. Uh, oh God. Thank you so see, much. Listen, listen. Uh, because of this, we are not friends. Yes, I want us to be friends. Now. Let us come to this place to visit you. Thank you. See me often. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what of your your research? Are you done with it? Oh. When when are you submitting? Oh yes, um, I am done. I really acquired a lot. Right. My report, everything. Oh, I will submit very soon. Yeah, very, very soon. But I will still need your help. Okay. <laughs> this car again. This car keeps passing around my village. Uh, it's starting to look weird, Richard. Yes. The same thing I told you before, that these rich people with big cars, see, they are all caught. See, see, listen, please, you have to go home now. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please. No, Richard, I'm, I'm fine. Nothing will happen to me. I'm fine. This is my village. Nothing will happen to me. Sure. I'm fine. Trust me. Let me walk you down. Oh! <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Richard, yes. I don't know. Something in me tells me that you are really a nice person. Wow, same thing. Something in me also tells me that you are a nice person. Thank you. You're now let me walk you. Okay. You see, I said I was going to do it. Oh, you walk to that junction. Go back where I'll be going so that if I get to my junction, we don't meet your junction. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming around and for managing a poor Thank girl. You for making me so I happy. Mean. Listen, we're both poor.
sick. When a woman wonders and smiles, it means she's in love. Tell me, who is the man? <laughs> mama, Mama, please, please, please. Who, who told you he's only a man that can make me smile? Hmm. I am not a child. I know you, my daughter. Hmm? Okay, Mama, you win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say something, Mama. I'm, I'm listening to you. His name is Richard. Mm -hmm. I met him today. He's like a brother to me, Mama. Mm -hmm. Mama, I've never met a guy that is as simple and free as he is. <laughs> but please, don't go and put over pepper in that soup because no, of this your smile. That for me, they may Continue. My world, my better half, you mean so much to me. Richard, there's a problem. Problem. What is the problem? Tell me. I really don't know how to say this to you. <laughs> really? Just say it the way you want. <laughs> Some more courage and tell me. See, there is nobody here. We are alone in this place. So I'm listening. Say it. Richard, do you love me? I mean, how much do you love me? What? I love you so much with all my heart. See, as far as I'm concerned, right now, you're the best thing that is happening in my life. You mean so much to me. I love you more than I love myself. Yes. Okay, fine. Okay. Let me prove it. No, 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 Richard, no. I don't want your money. I, 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 I know I'm a poor girl, but it's not your money. I don't want your money. Richard, I'm pregnant for you. <sighs> I'm not giving you money. But this you made me so happy. You made me so proud. Now you are going to make me a father. God! <coughs> Will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> yes, Richard. <laughs> oh my God. Taking the right step. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Mm. Uh, Mama, I want to take her to my place tomorrow so she can meet my people. It's okay. <laughs> Do you think I would not like your people? I mean, you like them. <laughs> they are very they are good people. Mm. Yes. Please, I want you to help me put things in place so that I can come with my people to see you. It's okay. I will have to talk to her father's brothers, then communicate to you. Thank you once more. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. <laughs>
Aoi. Aoi. Come, come. not the same car that has been passing around my village. Richard, what is happening? Oh, uh, Helen, let's go inside and meet my parents. Your parents? Wait, <laughs> you mean your parents <sighs> stay here? Helen, this is King Jason's company, the ruler of Obimo Kingdom. I am his only son, the heir apparent to the throne of Obimo Kingdom. Yes. What? Richard, he lied to me. Richard, why did you lie to me? Richard, I don't even know you. Please don't. No, 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 no. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Let's go. Let's go. See, listen, listen to me. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. I had to lie to you. I am sorry. I had to lie to you because I want to know the real you. I am in search of a good woman. So I disguised myself. I was the one that came to your village with this car. When I saw you at the farm, I told my driver to drive past you. I came down and walked up to you in disguise. Just to know the real you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Richard, why do you have to lie to me? Why? Look at me. Is this how I'm going to face a prominent king and queen dressed like this? No, let me go. Stop, stop, stop. Richard, allow me to go. Helen, look into my eyes and listen to me. The most important thing is we are here. And I know very well that my parents, they will love you the way they love me. I already told them we are coming today and they are expecting us. Relax. Just relax yourself. All you need to do for me now is to breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Breathe in, breathe in. Yeah, breathe out, breathe out. Mm -hmm. Compose yourself. Relax yourself. Now, behave like a princess. Let's go. Let's go. Relax. Let's go. Let's go. So how was that? was okay. It was fine. I think everything went well. <laughs> it went well. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Great to see you back, Mom. Oh, my friends. May you live long, my king of queen. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Pretty long. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Yes, oh, Dad, this is Helen, the woman that has taken my heart away. What? Richard. Are you out of your mind? No, Dad, I don't get you. How dare you? How dare you, a first class prince, bring this thing you call a girl before my presence and you even introduced her as your woman? Jason, please, let's talk about this inside. Please. I shall go nowhere. I shall go nowhere. In the first place, Younger. Who are you? Where are you from? Who are your parents? Your Highness. I'm from Ubi. The only surviving daughter. The late Lady Boko, sir. Can you hear that? My dear, can you hear that? They are not familiar to me at all. They are not. Can you see the kind of girl my soul brought before my presence? Young man. I am very 
very sorry, my son. We never marry you. Okay? Go and give her food, if you will. Give her enough money to take care of herself. But she has to leave this compound immediately. Do I make myself clear? Jason, this is not right. Son, just repeat it for the last time. You will disappoint me again. That you will do no such thing to her. My daughter, put yourself together. Stop all this. If he really loves you, he will fight for you. He will fight to make you his wife. His father cannot marry you for him. You see why I never love a man? Why you? Why My daughter, this happened in the life of every girl. If your heart is not broken by any man, that means you've not started life at all. Please wait and see if he will come back for you. Oh? But what if he doesn't come back? What will happen to my baby? Will I have my baby out of wedlock? We will leave everything for God. Just stop crying so you don't fall sick. Oh, stop crying. This is what happened to the life of poor people. <coughs> we abandoned you because you are from a poor home. It's okay. Oh, Mama. <laughs> How are you? Hi. How are you, baby? You don't drive yourself. Uh, uh for now. For now. I I don't want anybody to know where you and the baby is except my mother and I. Why? Are you afraid? Does your father want to kill me? Uh, no, not my father. Uh, his enemies. You see, uh, you will not understand the case at hand. Uh, the news of the baby has spread. And they all know that my father does not want you. So my mother and I have decided to take you and the baby away from here. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, I bought some things for you. I'll, I'll, I'll get in the lecture. Okay, let's go inside. Okay? <laughs> Are we giving him food this morning? Yes. Eh? Yes. Don't worry, okay. Everything will be fine. We'll just try to put one or two things together. Okay? Don't worry. Stop <laughs>
Helen, how are you doing? And how is my granddaughter doing? Fine, ma. What about you? I'm well. Thank God. Uh, I know it's been a while, I mean, since after the king's burial. Uh, well, I decided to send for you just to intimate you about the matter that's on hand. More ears. No, please, let me explain to her. No, 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 no. Let me talk to her. Hmm? Helen, I know it's been hard on you. But, did, did Mom, you please, 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 Mom, yeah. please, just go straight to the point, please. Uh, Helen, listen, in fact, my father placed the cost on me before he died. And that cause is supposed to take effect if I marry you. Helen, Helen, it, it has not come to that. It has not come uh, to that. Mom, 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 I can't take this anymore. I can't. I'd rather die in that cause. Not marry her. No, 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 son. Don't say that. Don't say that. Um, you see, Helen, what, what, what I'm saying is that He wants my baby. Please, please, Helen, please. Helen. Open the door. Open the door. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry! Richard, leave me alone! This is it, right? This is why you've been so cold to me! It's not going to mean that all you and your family wanted is the baby. I will never let it happen. No! 
I was cold and sick over what my father said. I and my mother have not rested over this. I will marry you no matter what happens to me. It's not, no from, matter your it's not from your heart, Richard. No one is persuading no, no one is persuading me to marry anyone. I felt bad. And why would my father go to this length? Listen, I will do anything. Anything! Even if it's gonna take my blood! My last blood! I will do anything! To make sure nobody takes away our baby away from you. And both of you will come back to the palace. Yes. Yes. You are my wife. I will marry you. And let that cause happen. Are you and what do you want here? Sir, I'm um, Helen. The, the girl Richard is to marry. Are you the one the king rejected before he died? She'll be there to direct you. Okay. But the king hated you. I don't feel happy about this. I wish I knew I'm a princess. My life wouldn't be like this. It would have been different. I know. I know. You are still very young. Okay? Listen. The Queen has suffered so much to find us. You have to give her a chance. I'm very happy that our suffering has ended. Please, you can't let it slide away. Huh? Please. You'll have to go do some shopping before Princess Nora today. Yes, my queen. Her size will be needed. Um, you know, just get her something nice. I mean, you know her, so just try and get her something nice. Hmm? Okay, my queen. And please call me Peter. Yes, my queen. So Dad, tell me, how did you find out that she didn't succeed? Sir, I have my informant in the palace. 
she did not see the girl. So we have to celebrate. Begin to see yourself as the future king of this land. <laughs> you know, I would be so happy if this information is true. Hi. You have to be strong. Why are you sounding like this? Listen, I am strong. My fear was that um, after parading myself as the heir apparent to the throne, a little girl would just come from nowhere and take over the kingdom. I am telling you now, one of the maids informed me. I have two of them in my house. I'm still expecting the other one to come and give, give me her information. On one premise, I promise them that you're going to marry them. <laughs> you told them that. But of course, you know I will not marry any of them. Okay. If you want to marry them, fine. If you don't want to marry them, no problem. You came to see yourself as my future king. That's it. That's the main thing. That's it. <laughs> Good morning, madam. Oh, good morning. How are you? I'm fine. I'm here by the order of the queen to take Princess Mona to school. Oh, wow. Oh. She has left for school already. Oh. It's okay. Let me run along. I need to pick up the queen. Do take good care of yourself. You too, huh? All right. I don't know, I don't believe this. You mean your girl is a real life princess? <laughs> I can't believe yeah. this. I put a million on where but I can't believe it. Even she herself, no no. Mm. Man. Wow. Even to the extent of being an heiress to the throne. Hmm? Is that what they're trying to tell us? What? An heiress to the most wealthy and popular kingdom in this community. Eh? Hey. Now, hmm? me breaking this news to you guys is hmm? not to start seeing her as a princess. I get over there. Hmm? Hmm. Now, two of you and our clique to start seeing me as a king. Hmm? Abi, I hail From you. Now on. My bros, I hail you. Your bros. My king, I hail you. You <laughs> need to hold on this girl tight. Don't let her escape. You know you both have been so close. Tell her now. Uh -uh. You know that you're a bad boy. You don't need me. You don't need me to tell you what you have to do. You suppose no waiting. You go of do. Of course. Me. Use your brain. Not for you. You the fuck up. Nah. Come on, come on. Boy, we don't move. Use your brain. Sir. Yes. You made me promise that if I told you everything happened in the palace, you make me proud. Yes. I was the one that put you in that job. So I know what I'm going to do for you. But tell me the truth. Did she find the princess? Yes, she did. Are you sure of what you're telling me? I heard that she didn't find him. I went with her to the ghetto. I saw her myself. She has grown into a beautiful lady. Soon she'll be returning back to the palace. I can't believe this. So the story was true? Yes. I know there. I can even take you to that place. No, 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 no. You have done all I expect. All you have to do now is tell me the address. Let me visit them myself. Okay, sir. Okay? Girl! <laughs> I'm so happy for you! Yeah! Wait, wait. So my friend will soon become the next king. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the point. You know, 
I know you've been thinking all this while that I've not been showing so much interest and I've been doing somehow. Yes. Listen, I've been doing and acting like that because I don't want to put all my hope in this thing. You know, yeah. like putting all your eggs in one, one basket. basket. Yes. Yeah, so I've just been relaxed. and But now I know that the girl does not exist. So I am in charge. I am the next king. <laughs> Legitimately. No cut corners. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, that's it. Because, wait. When are they going to present you to the council? At least in preparation uh, for the kitchen. So that I can come and say, oh, you my And you know what I will do to you? I will just tell you like yeah. this. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> You're already preparing for the kitchen. And you, you need to get used to it. But yeah. again, you uh, need to be flexible, my man. That's flexible. It. Uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, you can just be walking and be doing like this. Uh, <laughs> I know you're happy for me. Yes. But you will enjoy. That's why I'm fighting. You will enjoy that's it. That's why I'm fighting because I know. <laughs> I know if it comes. Everything I, will change. I, like that. <laughs> I will change your jeans. Celebration, right? Celebration. Ken! Can you imagine? Ken, Ken, calm down. Calm down. Guess what nowadays? Ken, calm down. Stop stressing yourself. Eh? Why are you wasting time with this girl? When you see my future maidens, you know them. People that will come and sweep the palace for me. Come inside this car. Let me take you somewhere and spoil you. Yeah. Don't waste your energy. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> my <mom. My> <laughs> But you need to call me Igwe. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For you, but you were nowhere to be found. I I went to check if the lady that meant clothes is out. So. Since when are you the you know saddled with the responsibility of mending clothes? Well, anyway, you'll have to go in there, and um, you and John will be going for shopping. Hmm? Uh, and Peter, do stand by. You're taking me somewhere. I'm sure we'll be back before the school dismisses. Hmm? Okay, my queen. This is true. Rebecca, I have been thinking that I am smart. 
so you are smarter than I am. You have kept this girl away from all of us all these years. Mm, thanks to Bella. I think it's time for me to visit her. By the time you find out that she's dead, let me know how she will become the queen of this land. I will show you that I have a stronger mind than you are. Goodbye. Are a real life princess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Not only that, but the heiress to the throne of Obimo Kingdom. I know you to be this funny, but not a liar or a braggart. <laughs> be serious for once. Ah, uh -uh. I'm serious, Joe. I am the heiress to the throne of Obimo Kingdom. I just wanted to lie low until I get the crown. Mm -hmm. I don't still believe you. What happened? Don't tell me this is what I've been bothering you. Mm -hmm. My mother hid it from me. But now I know. Hmm? Well, how will you feel when I'm carrying it as the princess of Obimo Kingdom? You'll be happy, right? <laughs> well, I think some people are learning how to make a speech. <laughs> Under a tree. <laughs> mm. Let's go. <laughs> it's okay. Peggy, that's what I was saying. I know what to do. Come, let me show you. So I want to make sure that um, you both are safe. So I'm making plans to get you out of here. Hey, <laughs> thank you, my queen. And do tell her not to reveal her real identity to anyone. I will, ma. I will. I am so glad that she has finally accepted to be crowned. <laughs> Thanks to you. Thanks for talking to her. I can't wait to have my granddaughter back in the house. You know, if you had not taken in for my grandson, my husband's dynasty would have been a forgotten issue. And you know, um, I'm going to be presenting her to the council in the next few days. Oh really? Oh yes. Ah, that would be great, my queen. I'm so I'm sure she will love it. Thank you. Okay. Um, Peter. Bless you, ma. God bless you. That's fine. In there you have a telephone. Everything has been stored on it. Even my phone number. So you can call me anytime. Thank you. Thank you, ma. It's okay. Do put your things together because the house you're moving into will soon be ready. Take care of yourself. Thank you, ma. Mona, you have to be very careful. How can you lie against your fellow students? Why did you say that Tessie and Laura insulted you? Mama, they did. They did. Ma, I came to you to report what happened. That they insulted me just because their parents are rich. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up and leave my office. Leave my office! Look, look, look at her. Their, their parents are rich. Hello? Please, I'm sorry about all this. Yes! The girl in question is a very wretched girl from a wretched home. Please, please, please. 
I have handled her. She's just a troublemaker. I have handled it. Your children are safe. Don't worry. Okay. Thank you. Hmm? Anyway, let me run along. I will probably see you when you come. Okay, sir. So, have a good day. Thank you so much, sir. Can you say hi to the princess? I will, I will, sir. Thank you. Please, please, I beg you. I don't want to insult you. So you better stay on your own. I know I'm poor. So just allow me. Are you hearing me? Well, as a daughter of a rich man, I even bring myself down for talking with you. Insulting me. Don't mind them. Very still silent. Peggy. Why Thank you. My princess. Good afternoon. I'm here to take you home. Um, how do you know I was here? Of course, this is your school. Let's go home. Okay. I have a message from him to you. A message from Robin? Yes. What is it? He is not feeling fine and he needs you to come now. He is dying and he needs you to come. He wants to tell you something before he dies. Uh, uh, what? Yes. Robin is... How? Why? He is what? dying. He is dying. He needs you to come now, 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 now. What happened to him? He wants to tell you something before he dies. Easy. Come, let me go. Come, take. Please just help me hold it. I need to see Robin. Let's go. Will you not change your school uniform at least? Mommy, I'll be right back. Oh. You're beautiful. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they will look good on her. Yes, my queen. I got the samples from a girl her age at the shop. Mm. Thanks so much, John. I can't wait to have her come live here in the palace with us. I have to present her to the council tomorrow or next. Oh, okay. That's fine, my queen. Um, don't you think it would be nice for her to come around now for her makeup? Oh, yes. Um, invite the makeup artist and do make sure the house is ready as well. I want them to move out of that environment into the new house. Um, Tomorrow or next? Yes, my queen. Bella, take the clothes to her room. Muna. Muna. Papa. Is Muna run? Robin. What happened to you? Nothing happened to me. Why do you ask? Because your friend Kazim came here. I said you were dying and you needed Muna. Muna ran off with him. She didn't even change from her school uniform. Why would Kazim lie against me? 
Besides, I didn't say nobody here. Last time I saw Kasim was in the morning. What? I hope he's not up to something funny. Why would you come and take away my daughter like that? No, just calm down. You know what? I will go look for them. <gasps> just calm down, eh? Go inside now. I hope he's not up to something funny. I greet you, boss. You're welcome. I have a job for you. What is it about? In the Gator, number 12 Akija Lane, lives a young girl and her mother. She's fair and beautiful. Uh, what do you want me to do to her? that and then come back to my house for the balance of your payment. Piece of cake, boss. Consider it done. Be boss careful. man. Be careful. All right, sir. Thank you. Let me see how she will escape this time. Let me see how she will escape this time. Um, wait, wait, Karim. Please, Karim. He's somewhere here, very close to this place. Look at where he is. Yes, get um, get Peter. We're going to Helen's place you know, right away. My granddaughter has been adopted. Oh girl, always sad. Oh little girl, why is she crying? Why is she so sad and lonely? Who will wipe the tears in her eyes? Tears of 
Good day, Uncle. Welcome. The latest prince in town. Ah. <laughs> the true heir to the throne of Yeah. Uncle, you can say it again. I went out today and I unleashed everything out. You needed to see the respect that I got. That was just a tip of the iPhone. Get ready. Next tomorrow, you'll be presented to the council. Hi. <laughs> I can't wait. You know, Uncle, I'm already feeling like a king. <laughs> I'll still have Go ahead. What do we do? What can I do now? Listen. Oh, whatever happens, you better start putting your things together because once she's found. You're leaving this place. No, my queen. I can't live here. I have my little business and marriage. I can't live like that. Yes, Helen, you will leave. You will leave. What's all this? What happens if I'm not able to present her to the council by tomorrow? I'll lose the throne. She will lose the crown and I just cannot begin to imagine. I just can't think. Come on, please. Is there something else you can tell me that like it leads to finding her? I mean, I don't know. Come on, please. I'm sorry to say this, my queen. What do you really care about? My daughter's life? Or the war you are fighting against them? Does what Patrick said to me happen to be true? That all you care about is how to secure the throne? Did I hear you mention Patrick? Yes. Gee, Patrick was here. And you're making me believe everything he said was true. Finished. Completely finished. I mean, how did he get to know this place? And how come you never told me that the devil himself came here? The devil? Oh. Now that's it. Shot me. Oh, Go on. My way. My way, please.
So you know, like when you this whole place now, everywhere. It's okay, Mike. Mike, any information from you is very important to this kingdom. Okay. Oh, my queen. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. What? Huh? Okay, just oh, fine, we are coming right now. Just do things with me. Peter, right? yes. we need to go now. The queen needs us immediately. Now. It's okay. Uh, now. Let's go. My guy, I'll see you, eh? I'm counting on you as usual. Take care of yourself. Thank you very much. Uh, where did the Queen and her secretary go to? They went out to get something. Okay. I just came around to find out how far she has gone with her search for the princess. Oh, she's doing well with that, sir. Okay, good. Let me go back to you. Okay, go ahead. Bella, how are you? I'm okay. The queen left because she got the information that the princess has been kidnapped. What? Who could have done that? I don't know. Please do not tell anyone that I told you. It's okay. <clears throat> gently, gently. Now. Pick up her slippers. Now, uh, 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 as soon as she's given a... My queen. Yes. Please, I'm sorry. It's my fault. Please forgive me. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Rice, rice. Want rice, rice. Rice. It's okay. Everything will be fine. You need to retire. It's getting late. The girl has to go to the hospital. Leave this for us. We'll handle it. Okay. All right. Um, that's your fault. Thank you, ma. Okay. Um, now, you keep trying. And uh, make sure that once you get the girl gets medical attention, make sure that the policemen come back here and stay here. Yes, right? Yes. Okay. All right. See you then. Okay. Let's go.
money, my queen. My queen. My daughter is yet to be found. Not to worry, everything will be okay, right? Um, I've gone to a higher authority and all will be well. Hmm? Take it easy. Um, where are the policemen? They left to search for her. Oh. Okay. Um, Helen, I, I know that right now we're under a lot of pressure. But I just want you to calm down. Try and put yourself together. Hmm? Um, I will release my guards to accompany the policemen on their search and also make monetary offers to anyone who can help locate where she is. Thank you, my friend. Thank you. I'm grateful. Calm down. Hmm? It's, it's going to be fine. <sighs> my queen, I don't know why these boys are doing this to my daughter. What is she doing to them? Calm down, calm down. down. They will pay for it. <laughs> my queen, the police should be here by now. Um, that's true. Um, Joan, uh, put a call through to them and let's find out what's keeping them. Uncle, this one you are all alone sitting down here smiling. What is going on? My boy, my plans have come to perfection. So sit down, let's talk about how tomorrow is. <sighs> is mommy coming back anytime soon? I don't know. Let her take as much time as she wants. I'm not a baby. I want you to go get yourself some clothes tomorrow morning because I'm presenting you to the castle tomorrow afternoon. Are you serious? <laughs> this is great. Uncle, thank you so much. You know, I don't know what I would have done without you. You are the reason I'm alive. I know quite well that if I'm not alive today, when Rebecca wouldn't have looked after you, go to my room and get my bag. Let me give you money for your shopping. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> oh, this is good! <laughs> this is Confound. good! Confound! Confound! Hey, Let's see. That's what I'm talking about, man. You see? Salutes to the prince of our land. The future king <laughs> of Obi Bokita. Thank you. Thank you. You see, I cannot wait to have that crown on my head. Soon. Call me. <laughs> of course yes. I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. My good friend. <laughs> hey. That's it. Ah, Uncle. Good morning. Check this out. Good. Let me see the royal comments. <laughs> <My boy guys. laughs> That's it. This is beautiful. <laughs> That's normal. Yeah. This one too. Mm -hmm. yes. Goes with it. happened to me. I know Chief Patrick has a hand in this. Only God knows what has happened to my granddaughter. If these people were real kidnappers, they would have called for a ransom. At least something for her release. Ah. God, please. Good 
Greetings, my queen. I announce the arrival of the castle. What? It's not yet time for them to come. Why are they here? I can't tell, my queen. If I may speak, my queen. I think someone is selling us out. They might have heard about the kidnap of the princess. I sense that Chief Patrick's hand is in all of this. He's doing all of this just so that he can get the throne and give it to William. But my God will fail him. I know. I'll be with them shortly. for long, a very long time. I know, but you know, it matters like this. One needs to handle certain things with a lot of Greetings, Your Highness. Thank you very much. Please sit. <sighs> My honourable members in council, when I said patience, I was actually talking about hope. Yes, hope. Here she is. The long-awaited heiress to the throne of obi Kingdom. Princess Muna, my granddaughter. Come! 
Really good. Welcome home. She's young and intelligent. No, 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 no. She doesn't look like a princess. Huh? Good talk, Chief Ekelo. But I don't think our queen should be deceitful. Not after all these years. You can ask for a test. Or rather, you may ask for a test to be run on her to clear all doubts that if there's still any. Please forgive Chief Kelly. Her nose has said it all. Looking at her, one will see a big prince. I think we have found out Paris. What stops us from giving her the crown? Chief Patrick. Well, fine, fine. Let's get on with it. John. Yes, my queen. Take the princess in and get her all freshened up. Hmm? Yes, my queen. Please come with me. Sorry, Mr. Peter. Do you mean all those things here belong to me? Yes. The Queen paid for and furnished it for you. Oh, God. Bye. My God will bless the Queen. I'm very grateful. Please tell her I am so happy. I'm praying for her. God will bless her more for me. Hi. God. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. I understand how you feel. It's okay. <clears throat> 
Miss Abita, um, I will have to go back to my former house to get my things there. No, you don't need to. Whatever you want, tell me. I'll get it for you. If you go into the bedroom, look into the wardrobe, you will see new clothes. Everything you want is in this house. God! I don't think you need to go back to that suburb. Hey! God will bless her for me. I have to go. Just come back. She has to look good. Don't you see how unkept she looks? I announce the arrival of Queen Rebecca, the ruler of Obimo Kingdom, and Princess Mona, the heiress to the throne of Obimo Kingdom. Your, Your Highness. Highness. Greetings, Mrs. My members, honorable members in council, Your Heiress. It is by the grace of God that she is here with us today. Yesterday, she was abducted. Yes, but by the mercy of God, she's here with us today. Hmm. It's a pity, but thanks be to the gods. I think we should not waste any more time in accepting her as our princess and heiress to the kingdom of Obino. Chief Patrick, sir. Get me the royal beads. I, Chief Patrick, the Prime Minister of Obimo Kingdom, is before you. And by the power vested in me, I crown you, Princess Mona, the heiress to the throne of Obimo. So with this face you have right here, I know all is not well. Just talk to me as a friend and tell me how it happened. My uncle has made me fool of myself. I just wanted to make jest of myself. I didn't know that that girl was still alive. But your uncle made us believe that this girl doesn't exist. That's my problem. I have been fooling myself. You see why I've been so cold about this name? Now you see. The next thing for me to do right now is just to take off all these clothes and burn them. Yes, I do not want to have anything about this drone. I won't do anything about it again. This is bad. And I've been telling people, I've been broadcasting it everywhere, telling people that you'll soon be the king of Obimo Kingdom. I 
I was even anticipating that very soon we'll get into the palace. Look. Ah, no, no. No. No, this is bad. guy I was ever close to. Grandma, please. I really want to see my friend. I want to see Peggy. My angel, the driver will take you to see her. And listen, everything will be fine. Hmm? Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry, my princess. Thank God we made it. You're now the crown princess. Hmm? Well, as it is, we'll have to teach you a little bit about a, a little bit of the royal etiquette. Hmm? Royal et et royal etiquette. I mean, that is the way. The royal way a princess should behave. Hmm? All well and good. Everything will work out right fine. But now you need to stop crying and eat something. So let's go to let's go to the dining. Hmm? That's my angel. It's okay. She's well, so everything is fine. Hmm? Okay, my princess. Okay. William, stop this! Listen, stop listen, this! I don't know what I have a problem with you. Alright? Either you like it or not, I am born in these clothes. I will, I will not stop! I will not let you do this! Why? I will not let you do that, Williams! Let's see, Williams, that you do not succeed in being the, the king of Obimo Kingdom does not mean that you are not the prince of this land. Listen, my man, you are royal! You are royal for God's sake! Okay, now imagine! When there is an occasion at the palace, what are you going to wear? I don't care. In fact, I will not attend. Listen, Ken, you are saying all these things because you don't know how I feel. You needed to be dead. They embarrassed me. I just went there to disgrace myself, just like that. Can you just calm down? Why are you telling me to calm down? There is still there are still chances for you. Calm I down. Don't have any chance. You need to be there. You still need salt. Listen, just let go, just let go of this place. No, there's there's no, there's no, no point, I'm not wearing this. this anymore. No, no. Don't do this. You just don't just do this. Okay, just calm down. Welcome, Chief. What is going on here? Welcome, Chief. Williams here wants to burn the clothes. He wants to set it ablaze. Why? Search me. Because you're angry over what happened at the palace. Don't I have the right to be angry? Why won't I be angry when the source of information is not current? 
and I told you to calm down. That the war has just begun. You are the next king of this kingdom. Okay. It's a promise. Okay. Listen, if that little brat, that little girl that called herself princess, knows what she's about to get into, she wouldn't have come out from wherever she was hiding. Take this clothes and stop acting like a chicken. Come on. Come on, son. Be a man. Calm down, okay? You still have your chances. Whoa. I can't believe. So this is what we've been missing. The queen said it's our new house. Yes! This is our new home. But I won't stay with you. You and I cannot stay without you. I mean, I won't stay with you. No! Listen, you know you are now the new crown princess. You have to go back to your people. I need you. You can't stay here with me. I will always be by your side anytime you need me. Okay? No. You have to go back. Okay? Whenever you want to see me, you can come around. Okay? We all must be very careful from this moment on. Peter? Nice. You will be the driver and security to the princess. You will be with her wherever she goes. Understood? Okay, Your Highness. Joan. Yes, my queen. I want you to send delegates to the family of the young man that was stabbed and make sure that provision is made for the man's burial. Yes, my queen. And also, Make sure the girl that was shot receives adequate medical attention. Uh, she was only discharged, my queen. Okay. Joan. My queen. I want you to start teaching the princess the do's and don'ts in this royal house. You see, there's still some things she does not understand. And that reminds me, we need to be careful about Chief Patrick. He went to their house. What? How did he find them? That is the question. I think someone in this palace is selling us out. I will have to fish out the person.
my princess, I do understand this is all so different for you. I know you're used to the kind of food your mother prepares, but this is a lot better and a lot more healthier for you. No, let me just go and stay with her. I just want to go because I might fall sick here. I might even die of hunger. My queen, may I speak? Speak. Why not allow her to go today? She'll be back by tomorrow. Please. Okay. Get her a maid, a guard, and a driver. Yes, my friend. Thanks, Grandma. Come here. My God. Thanks, Grandma. Thanks a lot. I'm so glad you like everything. Your clothes and the phone. So, young man, what do you want here? I came to look for a job. Came to look for a job? Yes. So, what kind of job are you applying for? No, anything. Anything at all I am willing to do. All I need is a job. Anything at all. In that case, uh, booking for interview. Just booking. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Come with me. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings, my queen. Yes, Peter. A young man came looking for a job and I booked him for interview. Well, um, Jean is not here yet. Have you interviewed him? Not yet, my queen. He's ready for any post. Should I go ahead and interview him? Oh, yes. I do go ahead and do that. Yes. Uh, 
Ah, 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 ah. I couldn't contain my anger. Huh. Queen Rebecca is daring me. How did she do that? You know I'm always by your side. Huh? Uh, but what exactly did she do? Don't tell me you are not happy that the princess was found. I was not happy. I'm yet not happy. But don't worry. Very soon, I will start to execute my plan, one by one. Hmm. That little girl, that little brat, cannot come between me and that throne. Oh. That throne belongs to Prince Williams. Well, how do you want to do this? Well, you know it's already late. That young girl is interested. But uh, how do you propose to do this? Very soon, I will have my own person in that palace. Who? Then I will start to execute my plans one by one. That little girl, that small brat, cannot come between me and that throne. The throne belongs to Prince William. Okay. Yes. Now, in any way you want me to assist you, please let me know. But I still think that whatever you want to do now may still not work. <laughs> then that means you don't know me. You don't know me very well. Mighty party. I have to go. Okay, let me run along. No, 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 I have to teach you how to use the cutlery. First, we start. Take your hands off the table. Take your hands off the table. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to teach you how to use the cutleries. And when you sit at the dining, you take your hands off the table. Right? Now, you hold. You know what? I cannot lend that one. Yes, you can. You'll have to learn it. You must learn how to use the cutleries. Now, you'll take the fork in your left hand and the knife in your right hand. No. The fork in your left hand. Your left hand, yes. Yeah, hold it down like that. Down like that. Mm -hmm. Take easy, 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 easy. Hold that easy. Easy, take it easy. Are you laughing at my granddaughter? No, my queen. I, I was not laughing. Grandma, just leave her. Can you do it? If she can, let her just teach me. No. I want to do it myself. Soon you'll be crowned the queen of this land. And you're ruling it. You have to learn how to use the cutleries. You must be able to represent the community properly and well. But I was crowned yesterday. Oh yes, you were crowned. But as a princess, not the queen. You'll soon be crowned the queen of the land. And you would begin to host international guests. Hmm. Okay. Let's go on. Like a queen. Yes. <laughs> Mona, take it easy. I know you can do this. And look at look at me. Look at me. That's the fork there. Aha. Uh -huh. That's it. That's it now. Peter, just stop here. My princess, any problem? Listen, from now on. If you must pick me, you can wait here and I will come out, okay? My princess, are you sure you're safe? Yes. I don't just want anyone to know that I'm a princess, okay? And if I close, I'll call you. 
It's okay, my princess. Take care. All right. This is my grandma. I will. Make sure you take good care of yourself. Okay, sure. All right. Greetings, ma. Yes, this is the Oh, are you the one meant to start work at the palace today? Yes, Ati. My name is Ken. It's okay. I have your details already. Guard, take him around. Um, Ken, right? Yes. I hope you've been acquainted with the rules and regulations of the palace. Yes, um, the other man told me everything. Okay, yes. that's fine. Um, take him to the guard's quarters. The job starts now. Okay, um, okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much. I mm -hmm. promise to carry out my job, to do my duties very well. We'll see about that. Thank you. Of you and I enjoy. <laughs> My daughter Peggy, God is good. I am grateful to God Almighty for everything and especially for saving your life. Peggy, I knew a day like this would come, but I never knew it would be this good. I can't wait to go to the palace to see my friends, so that I would thank the queen for helping me. If not for her, I would have died. No, no, no. You will not die in Jesus' name. I reject it for you. Amen. Okay? Peggy. Mati. You took a bullet for my daughter. My God will bless you. Amen. And I'm sure the queen would love to see you. Thank you. Robbie will rot in jail. Yes. He's claiming that he's not guilty. But I know Mike would go in for it. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> well, I'm so happy that I'm alive today. And my friend is alive too. I would like to go and see her. When you are done eating, okay? Um, I'm sure she'll be off to school by now. But we'll soon be back. So when you are done eating, you can go. Yeah? Peggy. Mm -hmm. I am very glad to have you all here. My honorable council members. The constitution of the land stipulates that after seven days, the princess must be presented to the community. You have done really well, my queen. I don't think there's more to discuss. We should allow the community. You are right, Chipikini. But let me quickly remind this council that the princess is incomplete. Chief Kalu, Yes? Are you trying to tell this council that the princess is defunct? No. But we all know that after 19 days of our presentation to the community, in which we perform all traditional rights, we will all crown her. But the constitution forbids any prince or princess to be crowned without a wife or a husband. I see. So what you are saying is that um, she should not be crowned. I have not said that. The constitution did. She must have a husband before her full coronation as the queen. Well, not to worry. It will be taken care of.
Why not we leave? Are you waiting for anyone, Jay? Yes. Uh, let me see how the Queen will jump the fence now. <laughs> Chief to where her food is served. Yeah. Don't fail me when you have the opportunity to garnish her food with this. Sir. I hope this is not meant to kill her. Do what I told you. Don't you let me down. I have the power to put your life in jail for a long time. Go now. Thank you, sir. in this beautiful house. Isn't that glorious? Very well. My dear, you are both blessed. Yeah, I know. Just come. Let me go and change it to my royal regalia and I can show you my chambers and every other place. In Greetings to the morning star. The princess of the great Obima kingdom. Oh, God has blessed the day I set my eyes on you. Forgive the interruption, my princess. My name is Ken, the newly employed guard. Oh, okay. Thanks for your praises, Ken. Come Don't leave the princess. The jewel. The only eye of the great Obima Palace. Your kingdom will never end. Yes, you will prosper, my princess. Thank you once again, Mr. Ken. Come on, Peggy. Let's go. Let me warn you. Go back to your duty post at once. Yes, sir. Disqualified from the throne. 
My queen, this is serious. It will be difficult for us to get her a husband within 22 days. Greetings, my queen. The princess is back from school. Good. I'd like to speak to her at once. She'll be with you in a moment. Princess Mona, you mean this is your bedroom? <laughs> Thank you. Isn't it sweet? Look, if you go to the you will see my fine clothes and shoes come out for me. Can't check it. Wow. What a word. And you'll be suffering all this while you get to. Just can't check them first. As in, I'm so so lucky to be employed for her. Not by my power. Now how girls doing? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, babe. That guy has romantic vibes. As in, did you see how he was praising the princess? Oh my god, he's so cute. He was just all over her. My dear, you see why it's good to be a princess. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, so please can't get the princess for you. She will soon be true with her French. Oh yes. Hello. Did you see Bella? No. I thought she's in the kitchen. No. Where could she be? Has she forgotten that we need to prepare the queen's food? I have no idea. Marius. Yes. Please can't get the princess food. Yes, yes. Good day, Grandma. Good day, darling. Good day, dear. How are you doing? I'm fine. <laughs> My angels. How was school today? Splendid. <laughs> Imagine my first day as another person, as a very powerful individual. Oh. <laughs> I can feel that right here. <laughs> mm. Well, that is why I sent for you. I want us to talk. Okay. What is it? John, thank you.
my dear angel. See, there's a traditional constitution which states that the princess or the prince must be presented to the council and seven days after they'll be presented to the community. And thereafter, after 15 days, the princess or the prince will be crowned as king or queen of the kingdom. I don't see a problem with that. You've presented me to the council already. Yes, you're, you're very right. Yes, you're right. But mm, there's a snag there. You're not married. If you're not married, you can't get the show. You need to be married. You must be married. Grandma! Marriage? You know I'm still too young to talk about that. I know. I know. But that's what the traditional constitution states. If you're not able to get married, then you'll be discarded. You will lose the crown and another will be crowned. The king of the kingdom and I guess that will be it for us. We're doomed. What do we do? What? And I don't have any man in my life. The only one I had, the only friend that I cared and loved, he betrayed me, Robin. I don't even want to have anything to do with him again. I do agree with you on that. He's off. I can't even imagine him being my son-in-law. But then, what else can we do? What do you think we can do? An angel. So, Uncle, tell me, what is your plan this time? What are you up to? Destroy the queen. <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Now, you see why I told you to start preparing. Ken is in there to give me lead, all right? If they decide to choose any guy, I'll make sure he doesn't live to marry the princess. <laughs> you know, um, Uncle, now I know your plans, so I'll know how to venture into it. Yes. I know one thing for sure that um, it will be easy for me to get a wife and the other way. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and now that Bella is here, <laughs> both of you can start to get to know each other so that she can become your wife as soon as possible. <laughs> Thank you, Chief. Come there. Eh, Mona, do not eat with fork and knife. Hmm. That's me. That's what I've been learning since, so imagine me eating with fork and knife. Please, I can't eat with that. You better drop it and use your spoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maris and Akese, why are you both standing like that? Come on, we are friends now. You can join me. You know I don't like it when you stand like that. Thank you, my princess. You are just a good friend. I've not seen your type before. Thank you, my princess. Hmm, Peggy. My angel. 
Peg is here. Oh, Peggy. How are you doing? I'm glad to see that you're doing very well. Sit down, sit down, sit down. I didn't know you were eating already. Lama, come on, join us. So, Peggy, how are you doing now? You're feeling well now. Yes, my queen. I came to thank you for all you've done for me. If not for you, I'd have been dead by now. It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. We thank God for everything. Thank God. Mm. And you too. The next time I see you seated while the princess is eating. You will be fired. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Enjoy your meal. Bella, Bella, what is all this now? Why are you disturbing us? Why did you not allow us to sleep? Are you the only one lying down here? Big mouth, she's not the only one. How do you expect us to sleep with this call you've been making? And besides, when did you start making such romantic calls? Look at who is talking. Because I'm lying down here with two girls, that's why you have the mouth to talk to me anyhow. Eh? When did you join the palace meeting? When did you come into this palace that you're talking to me anyhow? Huh? Bella, how is the name of all this? Do you want me to report it to the Queen? Does it look as if I'm scared of the Queen? Really? Yes! So let me tell you what, very soon, you'll be bowing down to me, throwing flowers for me to work on. Huh? For you? Yes, because I'm wearing the same uniform with you guys. You think you can talk to me anyhow? Don't worry, I'll report to you. Please call me back, okay? <laughs> My Queen, you have a meeting with the Prime Minister of Obo Kingdom by 2.30 p.m. Also, you have a road inspection to the stream by 3 p.m. Mm. All these in one day. That's fine. But first, we'll go to the Princess's school. We need to get her into a new school. And I think that if we get her into a mixed school, that could increase her chances of making friends and, and possibly 
gets a husband. My queen, I doubt that a change of school will get the princess a husband within the time frame we have. So what do you think I should do then? I mean, already she's complained about not liking the school, so she still needs a change of school. Let's start from there first. Yes, my queen. Thanks, girl. You brought our uniform. Oh, oh yes, um, I, I, I earned it for the both of you. Mm. Oh, thank you so much. Um, Ken, yes. do you have any particular duty assigned to you in this palace? No, my sweet princess, I'm walking all over. Mm. Ah, well, my princess, I have to leave the both of you now so to prepare for school. It's already time. Mm. But your room is splendor. All right then, thanks. Take my leave. What? You have to make him the personal guard, at least for me to be. Peggy! Mm -hmm. You're so spoiled. What is happening? God, I'm sure I kept the uniform here. Who, who took it now? I can't wanna be this one now. Alice. Yes? Did you see Ken the new guard? No, actually I'm looking for the princess's uniform. I kept it here, only for me to go inside and get her socks. I can't find the uniform now. I don't even know who has it. I'm looking for that guy. I asked him to wash one of the queen's cars. He didn't do it. I searched for him in his room. He's not there. Where could he be? Me, I don't know. I'm also looking for the princess's uniform. Ah. Here you go. Go check if one of the maids has taken it to her. Maids, ah. okay. not really my kind of girl, but I'm just playing along because of the throne. Okay. Very soon. I'm around for you. I pray. I will see your friend Ken today to see, to know how far he has gone with his plan. Okay. I hope this will work out. I don't want this to fail this time. I am praying seriously for this. Williams, calm down. The throne is ours. Eh? If the queen and the princess escapes this plan this time, then I'll know she's a witch. Sit down, my boy. Okay. I believe you.
so delighted to have you in my office, Mona. Point of correction, Princess Mona. Oh, so sorry, Princess Mona. You're welcome, my queen. Thank you very much. You see, my granddaughter, the heiress to Obimo Kingdom, has told me quite a lot about your school. And um, I'm here to make a change of school for her. Please, my queen, don't do this. Please. We never knew she is a princess. Please, princess, forgive us, please. I'm sorry. I've been taking rubbish from students in the school. Even when they get in my way, you blame me for it. Grandma, I don't think a princess can stay here. My princess, I am sorry. Please. I know you're a good girl. You don't have a bad heart. See, I promise from now on, I will make it up to you. You being in this school alone is a plus for us now. Please, forgive us. Please. Hmm? When people know that you're here, it takes the school to greater heights. My princess, please. Grandma, it's okay. Let me just stay here. Okay. Well, Madam Principal, my queen, I will no longer tolerate any hostility towards my granddaughter, Princess Muna, the heiress to Obimo Kingdom, from you, your students, or any other person. Do I make myself clear? Yes, yes, my queen. You will not even hear anything again, I promise you. And from now on, you know she's a princess and she should be treated as such. Yes, my queen. I promise. Thank you, my princess. My princess. Somewhere. Oh, my princess, I'm not a driver. I understand. But I just want you to stay with her. I will enjoy it more if you do. Okay, my princess. Thank you. You have to start going. Okay, these are my friends and relatives. That are looking for a wife. <sighs> no, they are all too old for her. Yeah. She's a young girl. My queen, we don't have time. We have barely 17 days. The princess might lose out on this. Never. I don't know what to do. I know we're in a critical period, but I know I have to do something. Jan. My queen. What do we do? I mean, it seems like Chief Patrick has bought over all the elders. My queen, why don't we present this man to the princess? She may like any one of them. No. They're too old. She's a young girl. She needs a young man. So what do we do, my queen?
Here is my resignation letter. What? Why? Do you have a problem? No problem. I think I found myself a better job. Okay. That's fine. But at least you would have given us some time to get your replacement. I don't even have time for myself. Please help me talk to the queen about it. with her? A resignation? Anyway, I wish her luck. What could possibly make her leave? I don't know, my queen. I guess she, she wasn't happy. Where's my granddaughter? Where is my granddaughter? My queen, she's not in the palace. She went out only when the guard came. What? Are you both telling me that she left this palace all by herself? With just the guard? Yes, my queen. That was her command. She didn't want us to go with her. How could she do a thing like that? Did she go with Peggy? No, only with the guard. I think they were going to see her mother. And let me once she's back. Well done. You have done very well. Williams, both of you need to start making arrangements. Okay? I told you they will fail this time. Yes, they have failed. You have succeeded, Chief. There is no way they will get another man to marry her before the deadline. No way. That's impossible. No, I am so happy. This is a massive I cannot be to have this thing on my head. Mm -hmm. I told you. I told you, Ken will succeed in his own plans. He's already succeeding. He's not very close to the princess. Yes. <laughs> I trust him. I trust that boy. I know why I gave him that job. Now the queen will start to see that her stubbornness will come to nothing. Williams, here is your wife. You two need to start getting along and prepare for the throne. Um, Bella. Sir. You can stay the night. Thank you, sir. <laughs> stay the night. I mean, you can pass the night. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy. Everything eventually is working out for my good. Yeah. But you see, I am not surprised because I knew it would work out. You know, my uncle is somebody that when he sets out to do something, he must always achieve it. I hate that queen. She's selfish. She's so full of herself. I agree with you. But you see, do not worry about the queen. Very soon, she will step down. We will take over the chambers. Trust me. I trust That's you. That's it. Baby. Try faster. So that we'll go home. <laughs> Why are you so much in a hurry? If we get home now, what will happen? We will just pray. Yeah, pray to God to help us get to the front faster. We just pray. Yes. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Bad guy. Ah. <laughs> yeah. My king. <laughs> yeah. My princess. Whatever it is that troubles you, you sure do not have an expiry date. I don't want you to cry. 
want you to cheer up. Please. Ken. I don't know what to do. I'm confused. If I lose out, it will break my grandmother. What could that be? No. My princess, I know I am a nobody. I know I'm just an ordinary guard in the palace. But my advice can go a long way to help you. You deserve everything good in life. You don't deserve to cry. Not tears. I understand. It's just that I cannot share it with you. Not because you're a palace guard, but for security's sake. I hope you understand. Listen again, take me to a pub. I want to drink. A pub? I don't get it, but I thought you said we're going to your friend's, your friend's place, Peggy. Why a pub? Just do as I've said. Take me there. I want to ease the troubles in my heart. Just, just drive. Okay, okay. okay. You sure you don't want me to sing for you? to the village after I lost my parents in a costly motor accident in Lagos State. That is where I was born and brought up.
Yes, ma'am, please. Yes. She's drunk. Yes, um, I tried to stop her, but you know, please. The queen must not hear about this. There is no point in begging me. She knows already. How could you have allowed her to get drunk? I tried. I tried everything possible. She wouldn't listen. What would I have done? Didn't try it all. Go, 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 go. Mavis, you stay with her. Take care of her. Alert me once she's awake, right? Okay, my friend. Oh. like this since then? Yes, my queen. She has been sleeping soundly. Can't say that she needed to turn for her to sleep. My queen, as you can see, there is nothing to worry about. She'll be fine in the morning. Well, I will have to stay with her then. Why would the princess do such a thing to herself? Why would she put herself through this mess? Someone that is about to be presented to the community next tomorrow. Oh. Well, I'll just have to stay here till morning. My queen, doesn't mean you will sleep in her room. She might only wake up in the morning. My queen, Marys are born to be for us to see if she can. Well, just to do just that, do just that. Okay. Um, I'll come and see her in the morning. Right? Get off on the bed. 
recorded by princes. She's still having hangovers. I think you have to go get her a, a bottle of cold water. Or get her a bottle of wine. Yeah, she'll be fine. Wine? Yes. The one she took, she has not recovered from it. Now you want to give her another one. Please count me out. But that is how to cure hangovers fast. Yes. She will be fine. Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, you can go with her, no problem. Aha. Uh -huh. Good morning, my future king. Can you imagine what I saw on Facebook? What? Here. Ken, kissing the princess at the bar. Are you sure this is true? Why, why, why would he do a thing like this? This is confusing. Oh, is it possible that Ken has fallen in love with the princess? No. He dare not do that. Eh, but on the other hand, it is to our own advantage. Why and how? For a princess to kiss a man in a public place is a big minus for her to attend the throne of Obimo Kingdom. Yes, she is going to be disqualified from sitting on that throne. Based on that. So, what do we do now? <laughs> what else do we do? We have to wait for time. The ball is in our court. Time, time, my son. <laughs> ah. My queen, I, I found it difficult to show you this. Now I have to. What is it? What? Is it princess? What's this? How did you come about this? I saw it on Facebook, my queen. Face. What do we do? What can we do? This is not fair, yeah? How, how can I do it? For what? Yeah? So if this we... is what you came to this powers to do. You, yeah. me, am I mad? Yeah? Even you can't even understand with me. I didn't do it. I did not. Mark, take him out of this palace at once. Yeah, wait, he's, wait, please. Please, I beg you. Yeah? I did not do it. I, I, I'm telling you. Hey, you can. Hey. You know what you have to do now? Dress yourself before you leave this place. Because you are not taking anything that is of royalty out of this palace. Be fast! Okay, 
Hey. Fast. Got it. Hey. Be fast about it. Can't you understand with me? Eh? Understand with me now. Don't let me. Everything. Let me, Everything. Understand with me now. Eh? Whatever you did bring you to this place, you are not taking it out of this place. Fast. The shoes. We bought him this shoe, including the socks. See it, bros. Be fast about this thing. He's not. He's the one removing it now. But I can't do this kind of thing, you know now. I can't do it. Eh? Take off his shoes. It, you see, the thing is, is refusing to come out. <laughs> Take off his shoes. Even the shoes too. Fast. The watch is. Is what? Hmm? Is what? Nothing. Nothing. Sorry, sir. This one. Out. Okay. me when I asked him to take me to the bar. Nice. I hate men like that. Why would he take you there? Because I forced him. I commanded him. Do you expect him to disobey me? So, you forced him to kiss you? Did you also force him to kiss you? Did you... Do you know what you've done? You've just thrown away the throne. And there's nothing else I can do. That's it. Grandma, no. No, Grandma. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But you know it's my right. Yeah? It's your right, right? It's your right to show to the whole community that their future queen is an irresponsible young girl. At a young age. <sighs> you have failed yourself. You have failed me. And I'm not happy with you. I'm so, so disappointed. Come on. Tell what happened. That I was disgraced and stripped out of the palace. Innocently, wrongly accused. Wrongly. I saw it in the news. <laughs> but it's okay. Because she would be disqualified from being the queen. Disqualified? Why? But sir, I didn't kiss her. Yes, she yes, she was drunk. She wanted to she threw herself at me, but I refused. People were taking pictures and that's that's how we came online. It's okay. You did very well. As long as you did poison her food, 
She will soon die. Sir, I... I didn't. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm sorry I lied to you. I, I, I could... Sir, she was just a good girl. She was just a good girl. She was so nice to me that I couldn't find myself to do it. It's okay. It's okay. Let me go inside and get something. Then we'll stroll down. I'll show you the land I promised you. Okay? Yeah. Okay, sir. Sir, she's a very responsible girl. You don't have to kill yourself. No. What have I done? What did I do? And now Ken. Ken is in trouble. I know. But who will believe you? The Queen is angry. I saw this online. I had to come. Just tell me, Peggy. What do you want me to do? And now this will affect me from becoming the queen of this land. Mom, this is okay. It's okay. You will explain to the council. They will understand. Hmm? Calm yourself. You need to shower, then eat. Listen, my princess, I trust in you. I believe in you. And I am very proud of you. You are not irresponsible. Even if they don't want you to become the queen anymore, it's fine. No problem. Mommy, I feel for Ken. Ken is innocent. And grandma doesn't want to believe it. Because no caring mom would want to believe that so easily. So calm down. The truth can be hidden for long. If you're destined to be their queen, you will. But we shouldn't get it. Ken is innocent. Ken is innocent. Please just help me. It's okay, I promise. I am going to speak to the queen about it myself. Okay? Calm down. Don't let it bother you anymore. Thank you, Mom. But, at the palace, I want to go there again. I don't want to be queen again. No they way. They should just eat it. No way. You are going back tomorrow morning. Remember, you will still be presented to the community. So, you go back. Hmm? I will speak to the queen myself. Smile for me. Smile for me? <laughs> My baby. <laughs> it's okay. Uncle, where is Ken? I searched everywhere for him. I went to the palace. I, I was told that the queen sent him out. 
What is going on? Where can he be? I don't know. He might have gone out. I don't think so. There is no way Ken can make such a decision without telling me. We are all he has got. Eh? And I don't think that Ken will kiss the princess. I, there is something that is not right. Something is going on. Then you don't know your friend. He has failed you. He has failed us. And how did you know? Have you heard from him? Huh? Or did he tell you with his mouth? Because I remember you saying something about writing him, writing him off. Uncle, I hope it's not what I am thinking. Huh? Because Ken is my very good friend. Where is Ken? If anything happens to Ken, I will not take it from you. I don't have anything to do with his whereabouts. He is guilty. That is why he has been running away from you. Huh? Listen, sleep. All right, Uncle, um, I've heard what you've said. Uncle, just hold on one minute so that we won't be in the same track. I will search for him again tomorrow. But Uncle, if I can't find him, I will go against you. Yes. Ken is a very good friend of mine, and I find him in friendship more than a truth. How can I catch some sleep after what you just said? Hey, Williams. I'd like to move a motion for the amendment, the constitutional amendment, in the case of my granddaughter, Princess Muna, getting a husband before she can be installed as the queen of the land. My queen, just tell us that she has not found a man than bringing that story of constitutional amendment. I'm sure you all are a witness to the fact that it's a lot easier for a man to find a wife than the other way around. And moreover, my granddaughter is still quite young. My queen, do you realize that the princess ought to be installed within 15 days from now and 29 days have passed? How do you think you can affect the constitutional amendment before that time? Now, let me quickly remind us that there is an irresponsible stagger that is in the air which concerns our dear princess and her flirtatious movement towards the certain guard. The guard? And then Ken. Huh. I don't know if you want to talk about it or if you're ready to talk about it. Where's my grandma? She's in the meeting with the castle of Edels. Who is the matter? I have to see her. I must see her. I know they are deciding my fate. But it's time I let them know what I really feel. My princess, don't you think it would be unwise for you to be the queen? I don't care. Maris, wait for me in the room. Yes. This is a shameful act. Are we still going on with making an irresponsible girl our future queen? No way. I disagree. I am not irresponsible, sir. Mona, 
Why don't you wait for me in your chambers? No, Grandma. It's time I stand up and speak for myself. I'm a true born of this kingdom. So tell me, what's the crime that a young girl committed to have played with her husband to be? Husband to be? Abomination. Yes. I want to marry Ken. Eh? Marry him? I love him. Grandma, I really want to marry Ken. I love him a lot. Angel. Yes. Greetings to you all. What is it? Uh, yes, um, what do you have for us, Mr. Williams? Your Highness, I'm here to say this course with this man, Mr. Patrick. Are you okay? Not have you come here to ask me where is Ken? Let's go, let's go. I said I am not going anywhere. Listen, I have searched everywhere for Ken. I can't find him. And remember, you said something about killing him. Have you killed him so that I can settle this right here and now? I am asking you, where is Ken? Is this young man okay? My elders, let me apologize on his behalf. Let's go see us. Uh, uh, my elders, with all due respect, um, Your Highness. I am no longer interested in the throne. I do not want the throne anymore. The throne belongs to Muna, so I am, I am, I am, I am quitting. I, I don't want anything to raise for the throne. I, I don't want anything to do with the throne. All I want right now is for Mr. Patrick to tell me where is Ken. Does he know Ken? This is how you want it, um, Your Highness. Yes, Mr. Patrick here sent Ken to this palace to kill the princess. What? what? Yes, to but, kill me? Yes. But, but Ken did, did, did not do it. Mm -hmm. Your Highness, Ken, Ken is innocent. Please. I just want us to search for him. He's innocent. Ken is an orphan. If he wanted the princess dead, he would have killed the princess, but he did not do it. Mr. Patrick is a bad man. He, he was the one that even sent people to, sh to, to shoot the princess, but instead they, they, they shot at the princess's friend. Unbelievable. Mm. What? I greet you my elders, I greet you my queen. I know I am not wanted here, but I must tell you this. Um, Mr. Williams has told us everything. Yes, I did. You see, I suspected that Mr. Patrick was person behind all this, so I, I came and I exposed him to everybody. Listen, I, I don't I don't I don't want the throne anymore. You did well. My queen. The princess is a good woman. She's not irresponsible. was only carried away, but I didn't, I didn't kiss her. I didn't. I know I am not wanted here. I know I am a nobody. But... Ken! You are somebody. You are my husband-to-be. I love you, Ken. But... He loved me. Um, Princess, he loves you. You see, he has said that to me some time ago. Sorry. I I don't hate you. 
I don't. If not, I would have poisoned you like... Just as Mr. Patrick asked me to. Okay. Sir. You know, you and my nephew, Williams, have been very good friends for a long time. And yeah. I'm thinking, it's about time we did something meaningful for him. I want us to help him. Okay. Uh, but, uh, how? how? Good. I want you to get a job at the palace and ensure that you land that job. I want you to be very close to the princess because you're going to be my ideal. Okay, but... Uh, sir, if I get there, should I tell them you sent me? Oh, no, no. You're on your own when you get there. Until you get the job, then I'll tell you why you're there. No, he didn't. He only said I should get close to the princess. That's all. I think my uncle has a plan. Yeah, he sure does. And to think of it, they don't know we're friends. They don't. So I already got the job at the palace. I was um, employed as a palace guard. And they asked me to come and start work tomorrow. Good. I knew you would get the job. Because there's a new princess. I want you to do me a favor. Oh, sure. Anything for you, sir, I'll do. Anything. I want you to do everything you can to get close to the princess. Can I possibly be close to the princess? She is a woman, I'm a man. And I heard she had a lot of she has a lot of mates in the palace and it, how, how can that be possible? It's very impossible. She's just a small girl. That is why I want you to get close to her. To her. Pacify her. Praise her. Make her to like you. Hmm? And if she does, the queen herself might make you happy. A personal guard, and if that happens, then from there we can execute our plans. Plans? So, what plans are you talking about? I want you to kill the princess. Yeah, Ken, do you mean you are very close to her now? Did you put it for her? Yes. So that there will be no suspicion whatsoever. In less than seven days, she will be a dead person. Thank you very much. Yes, your friend will be very happy to hear this. He's getting ready with the girl. Yeah, go ahead. Thank you so much again. Once she's down, we will take over. <laughs> Bye. Yes. What? This is so, so unbelievable. He stabbed me in the bush. Someone helped me to survive. I knew it. Behind this. I'm sorry. Um, uh, he's, he's, he's bleeding. He's seriously wounded. Get the guards and you, you take him out there. The guards will help. Take him away. You're happy now. You're happy, right? You're doing this 
because I've been trying to help you. I've been trying to better your life. You're selling me over because of a friend. You betrayed me. My God will judge you. I hate you. Ah, move him! Move! Ah, hold this. No be saying how they find let her find these two guys now. We plan behind me go kidnap this girl. I forgot him, Jeff. Nah, uh, Robin, see, you suppose they praise God now. See, you suppose on Sunday you suppose go church, go give thanksgiving because waiting God do for you. I know the small thing. No, God no deal with me. Come give me a princess as a girlfriend. Nah, God do. You don't get you. princess as a girlfriend before. For we are we are see girlfriend. But see, guy, you see that ghetto. Mm. Eh? From now on, that mm. ghetto. Oh, mommy, I know they did again. Now school things, and I don't go back to school. If you don't go back, guy, me, I don't go. Even though self, I don't go to school, guy, me, I don't go back to business. What's going on, young lady? What's, what's the meaning of this? I, I, I came to beg you. Please don't do this to my beg you. Listen, listen, I, I listen, listen. You. Just shut up and get out of my way. I do not want to have anything to do with you because you are evil and you're criminal. It's not true. Listen, don't touch me. If you touch me, I will give you a dirty slap. You know I was doing all that because of you. My friend, will you shut up if I slap your face? You're doing what because of me. Listen, let me clear that down. You're doing that because of your own selfish reasons. You did all that because you thought I was going to marry you. Stay out of my way or I will crush you. But that was the agreement now. You're not supposed to be my king. What's not what you, you people promised me? Please, oh, please, I, I beg you, please, please, please don't do it now. Please, please now, please. My king, my king, my king. From the bloodline of Nkweje dynasty, born of purity and royalty, beneficiary of the Eje clan, and granddaughter of her royal majesty, Queen Rebecca I. All hail her royal highness, Queen Muna, paramount ruler of Obimo kingdom. We shall all proceed outside for the final celebration.
stay.